they face have defined. We are here to talk to the public and listen to their thoughts on the matter. I remember for the first time, Malaysians really took it seriously about smoking in public places. Such a good effort by the government. Some eateries had played their part to warn smokers on the ban and had since... Many parents were looking forward to have Mazli Malik to lead the Ministry of Education until he actually resigned, which came by a big surprise. Many Malaysians were looking forward to the 2020 Malaysia Master. It was very unfortunate for Kento Momota. At this point of time, many didn't anticipate the arrival of this virus in Malaysia. Many started to become more nervous as the virus continued to spread. Dan tiba di KLIA pada 18 Januari 2020. This is probably the most nerve-wracking moment in Malaysian history of politics after the general election in 2018. The level of uncertainties were very overwhelming as the country takes another round of direction during such a critical phase of the pandemic. So Muhyiddin is speaking now as he recites his oath. Saya dengan ini akan mengumumkan senarai nama anggota kabinet yang saya pilih dengan satu ijtihad. Ijtihad saya untuk kemaslahatan negara mencegah penularan baru wabak ini. The lockdown in March made many to worry given the rising cases of coronavirus. Nonetheless, Malaysia was extremely effective in stopping the spread of the virus. This is less of a case in the last quarter of 2020. Hingga 31 Mac 2020 di seluruh negara. In addition to the extension of the MCO, the enforcement was excellent to contain the virus. But with the number of COVID-19 cases continuing to rise, the Malaysian government is not taking any chances. akan digantikan dengan Perintah Kawalan Pergerakan Pemulihan atau PKPP yang akan bermula pada 10 Jun 2020 hinggalah 31 Ogos 2020. Al Jazeera's video may have been released for other agenda. Nonetheless, the facts were inaccurate and unable to distinguish between what is legal and illegal immigrants. Like many of their controversial videos, the comment section was made unavailable. Illegal foreign workers. When you look at these raids, you can't help but think, is this the practical reality of dealing with a pandemic? Or is it racism? Treating them like an animal. This is not the way to treat a migrant worker. This is not the way to treat a human. 
bertindak zalim tidak betul mereka tidak berhak untuk berada di negara kita kerana masuk secara haram 57 prosecution witnesses and 19 defense witnesses in a trial that has lasted over 100 days since it first began former prime minister Najib Abdul Razak has been found guilty of all seven charges related to the 42 million ringgit from SRC International Sundari and Berhad. Demi kepentingan saudara-saudari sekalian, kerajaan telah memutuskan perintah kawalan pergerakan pemulihan dilanjutkan sehingga 31 Disember 2020. The Sabah state election, despite urgency calls for ballot, really became one of the main triggering reasons for rising as sporadic cases of COVID-19. Berikut adalah keputusan penuh Pilihan Raya Umum Dewan Undangan Negeri Sabah PRU Dun Sabah ke-16 yang telah dijalankan dengan bebas, adil dan lulus. Yang di-Pertuan Agong Al-Sultan Abdullah Riayatuddin Al-Mustafa Bilah Shah on Sunday said he had decided that there is no need to declare a state of emergency in the country. The announcement made by the Agong was really supported by the Malaysian people. It proves that Malaysia well-being comes first rather than politics. A dormitory in Klang used to house workers of rubber glove manufacturer Top Glove has become the latest location to be placed under the Enhanced Movement Control Order. The announcement was made by Senior Minister Isma Sabri Yaakob in a press conference this evening. Untuk meyakinkan rakyat bahawa vaksin yang diperolehi adalah selamat dan berkesan, saya akan menjadi antara individu pertama untuk menerima suntikan vaksin. This was a smart move made by the PM. Let us Malaysian wait for the testing. We hope for the best. Sebelum ataupun frontliners sebelum diberikan kepada kumpulan sasar iaitu kumpulan berisiko tinggi seperti warga emas, mereka yang mengidap penyakit tidak berjangkit NCD dan penyakit saluran pernafasan kronik. He was buried alongside her father and the nation's first Dewan Rakyat Speaker Tan Sri Muhammad Noor Omar who died in 1991. Inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun. May Tun Rahal rest in peace. The remains was transported from the Al-Raha Mosque to Masjid Negara at 2 p.m. after the Zohor and Tazah prayers. Malaysia recorded 1,581 more COVID-19 cases on Thursday, bringing the total infections to 100,318 with 18,773 active cases.